Hey what's up guys, Wicked Android HD here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the latest stable optimized build of, of, of uh, Antares 24's and all cards ROM. So it is based on CM12, Cyanogen Mode 12 and uh, it has a Lollipop base. So these guys are optimizing Lollipop bases uh, and uh, they make it really, really fast and smooth and very friendly. So, uh, first of all, you gotta you need to go into recovery. In Field Touch Six, I recommend Field Touch Six recovery. If you don't have this recovery, I'll put a link in the description on how to flash it. It's a very simple way. But meanwhile, uh, if you have this uh, recovery, I recommend making an Android backup. Uh, <coughs> If you don't know how to do it, just go into backup and restore and then backup uh, either to SD card ward or SD card. I just I, I just think I will do a separate video on how to make an Android backup, just not to mention it uh, every every single time I, f I make a tutorial on how to flash it. But afterwards you just go and wipe, clean to install a new ROM, as you may see, it says wiping data. <coughs> Sorry, I had a terrible neck ache. Uh. Okay, I'm running a little bit out of battery, but we should be fine. So this was the first guy. This he, him, and Terry 24 was the first guy who ported lollipop. First lollipop ROM ever made for Samsung Galaxy S4. So remember that. He is the first one that ported the lollipop to Galaxy S4. i9505. So it should be, it should have been evolved today to a more stable version. And we're gonna find out if it did or not today. If he did or not. Didn't. Okay. So we're gonna go back and install zip. We're gonna choose zip from SD card one. And then choose CM12 optimized for GFL LTE. So. As far as I know, it doesn't. Yes, it doesn't use ROM installer. <coughs> Simply installing update. So it should take uh, a c couple of minutes because um, the full installation, including the booting process, uh, since uh, it is a slim ROM, it uh, isn't attached with ROM. It should wait more than one gig. It's about 200 uh, megabytes about 400 megabytes along with the gaps which we're going to be flashing after an installation so installing update come on I'm running out of battery and I wanna make an overview after all <clears throat> I might sound a little, a little bit creepy but that's because of my my voice <clears throat> Man, this weather is really fucked up. It's 8th February and it's fucking snowing in Romania. Three days ago there were maybe even <coughs> 17 degrees Celsius and now temperatures barely reach 2 degrees. And yeah, that's why I got a cold. So installing update. It should be finished from time to time. Yes, result was complete. And now we're gonna flash. We're gonna be flashing gaps. <coughs> Sorry, gaps lollipop signed. 
this should take less because it only extracts the uh, APKs into system app folder. So Google Apps for Android 5.0. Installing files. Yes. Cleaning up and setting metadata. Yes. So now we're gonna go and reboot system. So I'm coming from a latest eco ROM which was also a lollipop ROM. So cache should be already converted to art. So the booting process should take less time than it uh, than it uh, did on <coughs> eco ROM. So let's see the boot animation. Ooh really really nice with animation simple wildish so I'm gonna get back to you guys after it uh, boots up I'm back guys after booting up it took about two minutes not more and afterwards you will receive this message Android is upgrading installing app there are about 106 apps that they, they need to run needs to install before actually optimized before uh, for booting up so finishing booting booting okay sign again mode welcome so we're gonna choose English I think it's gonna pop up and ask for for pin yes let me enter pin I can already feel the smoothness and it's it uh, has automatically selected my language but we're gonna switch to English okay United States you can feel smoothness immediately yes in the box of course immediately settings has stopped but I guess it was a minor bug let's connect my Wi-Fi network Enter the password. Okay, there is a problem with the Wi Fi. It can't connect. SIM card missing. Well, this is strange. But we're gonna be taking a look in a moment at this. So skip. Skip anyway. SIM card, in, SIM card is missing, but I have 4G. LTE connection. That's strange. Skip. Nope, I don't wanna... No, it's not now. Sign again mode. Okay. It won't me connect to my Wi-Fi. Why is that? Well, right now it seems to be connecting. There is a... yes, it's connected. There was a bug with the setting, I think. Yeah, not such a great, not such a big deal. But, uh, yeah, we've managed to fix it. Okay, so this is uh, Antares 1 and L cards ROM. As you may see, here we have a, an app called Antares One. So, updater, your system is up to date. Okay, so before we will uh, get into the applications, uh, I'm gonna be telling you that the first site, this ROM is blazing fast, believe me. Okay, so if you switch from set settings to settings, yes. So let's dive into the apps. Audio FX. So you can tune, fine tune your equalizer for your speaker or uh, headset. Browser. Let's let's browse some um, a Romanian website. 
which is kind of heavy we're gonna switch to standard view as you may see no lag at all so not even a miss calculator really nice material design calculator calendar okay with all the months that we, we need to think camera <coughs> let's see the camera so I, I reckon it's a Google camera yes it is let's change to the front camera hello guys clock clock has stopped yes there's a bug with the clock contacts yeah we need to synchronize our contacts file manager here's the CM file manager it is uh, scrolling pretty fast a Google Hangouts messaging let's see the music app let's uh, I think it's still scanning media no it's not let's see okay fuck okay so this is the song this is how the notification tool looks like and let's see the lock screen let me turn off the music yes along with the album art in the background it looks pretty sick let me turn off the uh, okay I guess all the notification sounds <coughs> sorry so we're gonna close the the music app so let's make a phone call just to sh show you how it looks how it looks how it looks okay really nice animations okay photos play games play music settings let's dive into settings and see if there is something different yes personalization part clock style I want it always in center AM PM style berry status style icon landscape ooh landscape icon for battery style circle I like a circle very much so I'm gonna stick to this brightness control show notification count um, <coughs> notification drawer show weather I guess it should be showing weather but I don't have the location activated so themes system default get more let's see what themes do we have here it's gonna be redirecting us yeah yeah, I think we're gonna yeah we're gonna skip this step. Asterix. So this is an app that controls your kernel. Currently isn't working, but I think I need to activate the the root somehow somehow. I knew it, so I think we need to just build number and go to developer settings, options, root access, yes, apps only, yes. <clears throat> so right now we're gonna open Asterix and allow. So loading, please wait. <coughs> you can see CPU frequency here. <coughs> CPU voltages and all other things. <coughs> so yeah, guys, let's uh, see the lock screen.
slide right for phone and left for camera really fast and smooth animations it really there is really an improvement there is also a clean all as you may see it's very smooth the multitasking is very smooth audio fix no problems at all <coughs> there is all clear all button so which we're gonna clear it's gonna clear all the apps so yeah that's uh, latest Antares 24th and uh, L cards uh, kernel ROM okay guys so this was my review I hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and su subscribe to my channel just to make sure you will be updated with my latest Android news and uh, tutorials and overviews and higher flash tutorials so wicked Android HD is out guys stay stay safe and uh, have a nice week bye bye <laughs>